Well, I, for one, think it's very necessary, actually, to adapt, very much so. Um, because don't forget, Bob was obviously trying to break the mold. He was trying to make it in the music industry. And he was looking for any help possible. And he just didn't want to break it in Jamaica. He wanted the whole world to actually hear his music. So, I mean, if you come to a foreign land and you've been told, look, I know this marketplace, this is the sound that they'll ex accept and they'll appreciate. I think for any struggling artist who's trying to climb the ladder, yes, you should give it a go. I think Bob was actually very shrewd. And Bob, as you saw, um, Chris Blackwell was saying that he didn't mind the fact that they were going to be getting no pay at all for doing a lot of the tours they did because he could see that, you know, that there was a good in the future. Whereas the rest didn't see that, did they? They were thinking about their money now. And I, I know for some people it could be very, very, very frustrating. But that's why I say that Bob was still living his dream. He saw that vision. He knew that it was going to take a long while. His background taught him that you have to keep toiling so that you can get to the top. And he was very, very shrewd. If he, if he, did, if he didn't do that, he wouldn't be the Bob Marley as we know him today, and I honestly believe that. So you do, you have to change and adapt um, a lot of the times until you've actually made it, and that's when you have your own, um, I suppose, freedom to actually do exactly what you want to do. But you have to abide by the marketplace.